Pokemon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. What's the good word, friends? And welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm your host, a big cheater! Make it totter. I am a big cheater. Kind of a big cheater. Not really because I'm doing it because the game allowed me to, but as if you recall on the last episode, uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It was on Monday. Uh, you can see that we faced off against one of the admins, and uh, he smacked me around quite a bit. So I was like, hey, I don't have to engage in this battle. So I hightailed it all the way back to Coomerine City. I healed up, and I bought some more potions because I will be darn if this lock ends this early. And I was like, you know what? I've been given a bone. Uh, I've been given a, a new lease on Pokemon Nuzlocke Life. So I ran back and I took advantage of it. So I'm all healed up, still the same kind of team. So it's, we're basically just doing part two electric boogaloo of Team Flare at the Kalos power plant. Hopefully we will get to route 14. We should get to route 14 before we start taking on Clement's gym in Lumio City. So without any further ado, um, hopefully you guys are having a good week. I am currently on vacation from work, which I know I just talked about how I went on a Nashville trip, which was amazing, by the way. Uh, this is the vacation I'm taking that I didn't get to take because I was on jury duty. So, but now that I spent all that money, I'm like doing nothing except recording. And it's kind of nice, honestly. Allow me to introduce myself, intruder. My name is Aliana. As you can see, I'm one of Team Flayer's scientists. I'm researching a certain something that you wouldn't understand anyway. Ultimately, for unfortunately for you, I've been charged with the simple task of your elimination. I tell you what, Aliana, if I would have faced you in the last episode without healing, you probably would have succeeded. You would have you would have been cleaning up what your cohort left behind because he smacked me around. Like I, I'm not even joking. Uh, and we got level 38 of Viper, so it's like. The levels are actually even higher because I think that Lugia I faced in the last episode was like level 36, I think. But we're gonna go and hopefully not get rocked to death. Because we don't like rocks, we just like throwing goo hands and that's a one shot from the goo hand of our beautiful, beautiful Blobbert. That's, that's a good way to start, won't complain. So it turns out if I really wanted to jump in and just do it like this, I could have done it because I outsped and I one shot. Obviously I wasn't gonna take that chance. Uh, Charizard's coming in, and if it winds up being a Charizard X, we know that it is weak to... I want to say it is weak to Rock. We literally just faced it, like, two episodes ago, too. But that's a, that's only if it's a, a Charizard X, like the Mega the mega Evolution. But it could be a regular. I was just playing no Charizard. Okay. But I think regardless, I think regardless of that, we found out with our Latias that its type doesn't change. It could, it could not. Mine didn't. But I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, so there's the ice move. So I think I think that's what's happening. Don't I couldn't even get the words out! Okay, good we thought out. <laughs> too bad. Too bad. Too bad. You, I, I was gonna get just a little bit angry at you for a second, but I was like, no, I'm good. I'm okay. I am okay. And Marks, welcome to the 40 club. Welcome to the 40 club. Now you have to get like examinations that us guys get at 40 that you probably don't want to hear about, but. That, that's what you get to look forward to. And I get to look forward to Flash Cannon. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I don't think I have a steel move. And I'll be honest. Defend order sounded great to have. But the honest truth is, is I've hardly ever used it. It would be much nicer if I had a setup move like that on a mod that actually goes faster than the opponents I'm trying to defend against. And that almost never happens. Having said that. I will get rid of Defend Order in uh, in lieu of Flash Cannon because what does Flash Cannon cover that these other types can't cover? It can hit fairies. I mean, fairies for super effective damage. It can hit rocks, which water can hit. Uh, it can hit, um, what else? Fairy, rock. Uh, there might be others that I'm thinking of. Either way, I'm going to do it. So Defend Order, it was great the one or two times that I got to use you. The bees can uh, go into retirement. Uh, you've done your duty. You're like you're like Chase Daniel, if anybody knows who that is. You just sat on the sidelines with a clipboard in your hand your entire time until retirement and just collected that bag. All right, Aliana's done. That's for my football fans. If my football fans are out there, let, let me know. Let, let your voice be heard. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect you to be so interesting. I do hope we can meet again. Something tells me that if Pokemon lore has anything to do with it, we probably will. And who? Oh, these guys. These two. Oh my. I think they get a different voice every time too. Look at all the carnage that has befallen us. 
You chased off that mysterious bunch before we could even get here. But I guess there's always room for more defenders of Kalos. Let me heal your Pokemon as thanks. Yeah, if you were if you were a battle earlier, it would have saved me so much time. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. But don't push yourself too hard. Here, take these. Oh, that is super generous. I love it. Where are you getting all this cash from? I could use some of that cash. Thanks to you, the power's back on in Lumio City. Now people can go past through the gate connecting Route 13 to Lumio City again. Well, I think us mysterious people will be off now. I leave before being left. I decide. Au revoir. These, these, these two. So eccentric. So eccentric. There probably isn't a quick way out of here, is there? Nor is there any items to collect. That is fine. Totally fine. So, I guess we will make our way out of here, and I think that means we can finally, finally get the next encounter in our journey, which it feels like it's it's been at least a couple of episodes since we've done that. That's because we fought 5 million Team Flare, uh, Team Flare em I don't know, employees, I guess members, I guess members is the right way. I, I don't know how much these Team Flare people are even getting paid as like grunts, but I don't know. Couldn't tell you. All I, what I can tell you is that I'm very excited about the fact that I will not have to come back to the stupid desert again. Speaking of stupid desert, do I have blobbered out? That is my fastest spawn. I do. Okay. Because as you've seen, I get encountered by those stupid little rock Pokemon every single time because I can't dodge them. I am no good at it. Not only that, but when you're like moving left and right, you can't even see them. You can't even react to them. Okay. So. I wonder if that means I go south. I wonder if anybody can tell me as such. I don't think you tell me. No, you you just gawk at Team Flare and you're just like, oh my god, Team Flare's here, what do I do? I'm shaking in my scientific boots. I think I went the right way. <laughs> Folks, Cal's Pops playing on vacation or something. Ah, uh, you know. Okay, I went the right way because story. This guy, I don't think we've seen this guy yet. The Pokemon, the flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that was given eternal life. Uh, is that all we're going to get from you, my guy? Would you want to play a pickup game of basketball? I'm on your team. I call dibs. Uh, item. This screams item. Uh, this screams rock smash, and I don't have that. So I guess I will just... I will just heck off and leave. I will make like a tree and leaf. What do we got here? Anything? And No, okay, you're not an O-Power guy. No, O-Power guys are in like bright pink suits. Like they're almost so bright and pink that you think they'd be transparent on on the the color thing. You know when you put like the hot pink and it goes straight, you know what I mean. Yeah, you, you get it. Big T! Back in Lumios part two. I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. Like now I just picture she's running through the desert and the wind's just like picking her up and pushing her back, getting encountered every five seconds. Know what? I heard the power's back on here in Lumio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Kalos power plant, and then somebody came and stopped them. No one knows who, but they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? Oh, I'm taking full credit. You know I am. No way! You, Big T? See, she, she's smiling, but she's like, no way. She's like, I don't believe you. There's no way. And get this! They're gonna light the tower! Let's go see it! It's Lumio City's most famous site. Well, why not then? Why not? This way, straight ahead, you'll run smack into Prism Tower. Well, see, at least this way, we don't have to pay a thousand dollars just to go see fireworks that, that, you know, we get we can see this for free. It's even better, even better. What are you doing here? You, your your squad ran off. Wait, why? Why? No, 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 no. Okay, onward we go. Am I going the right way? Yes. Story time. Nas time. Energy time. I don't know why I continue to drink these. I just, I don't know. Old habits die hard. Good timing. They're just about to turn on the lights. Look, it's Clement. He's Lumio City's gym leader. He's also good at inventing things, and he makes all kinds of devices. Those two are my friends. Good for you. Serena, everybody knows Serena. Aren't you done yet? Not quite. Just have to check up on the lighting circuit here. Now, would you please run along? I have things to do. Oh, Shauna! And you are a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, come on! All right, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science! Prism Tower lighting system, activate! 
Okay, I, I just realized that the voice that I made for this character makes absolutely no sense because he like sounds I don't know, I guess it kind of makes sense Like he kind of strikes me as like a, an Okabe Rintaro of sorts from Steins Gate, which watch Steins Gate if you haven't I love Steins. It's one of my favorite anime, one of my favorite visual novels I could talk about it all day I think you call this feeling I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? I mean like Final Fantasy 9 now or what? Now I have another great memory with you Big T mm, Excellent my prism tower lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all of my inventions. <laughs> then he turns out to be like the evil guy. All of his, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, right. See, the the audience, everybody watching me is probably like this little girl, like, whatever. <laughs> Get out of here. Challenger's waiting for you, you know. Prism tower itself is Lumio City's Pokemon gym. Come on, inventions sure are amazing, right? You gave me that one that solves puzzles, but it always feels like a shame to use it. So I haven't yet. Okay, good luck at the gym. Uh, guess what? We're not doing that yet because as I mentioned at the onset of this episode It is time for an encounter. Finally, please. I want an encounter and what I should do in between episodes is go take a peek ski at um, Go take a peek ski at uh, What I can pick up in Lumios as far as items I'm sure there's a lot that we can actually do that I can show on screen in case there are some like super awesome items that we can bring along, you know but uh, first I need to navigate my way through Lumios here and find and find Route 14. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. It's encounter time. It's encounter time. Can I go through, please? Oh, come on. So it's still messed up some at the gate. Oh, my God. Really? You're good. We're not getting any encounters, are we? That's that's super lame. I kind of want to like, because I know if I go to Clements, I'm going to be stuck there the whole time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one more trip around. I can't remember if I came this way or not. But I will ride around for just a little bit. I'm assuming that there is probably nowhere I can go, though, which is a shame. Because like I said, I feel like it's just, it's been forever. Is this 15? This is 16. I'm probably going to get the same treatment, aren't I? Have, I? have I been to 16 yet? Hold on. Let me look. Let me look here. Okay, yeah, I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, that was 22 that I saw up there. Route 16. Yeah, that's that's something that we haven't visited. I know we visited a high number route. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Anyone's cool and then go route 15. Okay, yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna be able to do any of these. So I guess I guess I'm just going to have to, you know, just stick it out. We do we do have two team members that we're trying to get leveled up anyway. So why don't we why don't we focus on that? We will do that for now. But any hooser. We'll get our fifth gym badge. And then I'm guessing the next episode is what's gonna be rife with encounters. Assuming this this battle goes goes fairly well. I think we got at least like four or five trainers in here. And then Clement himself, which I think he's got like level 35, 37. That, that sounds about right to me. But what do we got? What do we got leading off here? We got Blobbert, uh, Bible, Flora, Marks, uh, Good Guy Dilly. Still got a little ways to go. Thankfully he's fast. So if I can get him in on the right situation, I might be able to make something happen. Ooh, wait, is this like the quiz one? Like I could, I could fly. No, don't go, go back in, go back in. No gym needs four points of entry. Okay, let's go. Cause I, yeah, I want to say that this is one of the, yeah, it is. It's a quiz. Ah, oh, you're that trainer from before. Come straight from a battle, have you? Or for a battle. Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step onto that small square a few steps directly ahead of you, would you? You'll have to answer my questions if you want to get any further ahead. So yeah, we can just go straight to Clement if we get this right. So let, let's do it. Quiz time! What in the absolute H-E double hockey sticks is that thing? What is that? Who's that Pokemon? Oh wow, we're, we're starting off. Go talk to the trainer who's the same number as the right answer. And I believe it said Pikachu is number three. Chosen Pikachu. Yes, I have. Wait, really? I do have to fight him. Come on. I thought if I get it right, I didn't have to. That's bull. I've been tricked. Okay, Dugong, level 34. Get punched. Get punched. Uh, That was a crit. That's, that's neutral. Okay, I'll stay in. Uh, okay, I forgot that was a, that was a two hitter. That was a two hitter. But X Scissor does more damage. 
But that was a crit though. That was should I really do it? I probably just lost Blobber because I'm impatient. Golly, he ate that up so good. I'm gonna eat that too. That was a crit. Oh my god! Okay. Um, let's be safe here. So I saw a bone meringue and I saw an electrical move. Which means uh Bible is actually my best answer there. Because if I get bone meringued, it's gonna hurt Flora quite a bit. But let's see if we can get the discharge out again. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my god, not this crap! And that tank hits like crazy too. Okay, okay, okay. So bug and fire were both neutral. We found that much out. What does that mean though? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, either way, we're going stab. I mean, that's that's what we gotta do until we can find like a not very effective or something. Some, some indication that might narrow down the types that this stupid beefy recovering dugong might have. Bone meringue. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, that's fine. That's it's gonna take three more of those, so please be super effective. That's that's what we want! That's what we want! That's what we want right there. Okay, level 37. We we desperately need levels. That is that is apparent. Okay, and so what we'll do to avoid going back a ton, I will use the items that I have purchased. I don't have a lot. Step in the elevator. Why, why do I have to battle you when I get the answer right? Come on. And it's a Molga. Stupid, get out. <laughs> Does that at least mean I get a prize or something? Then what's the point of the quiz? Like, what's the point of the quiz if I have to fight anyway? Oh, I think I think what it does is it just lowers how many trainers you have to face. Okay, that actually makes more sense. Because, like, if I would have gotten that wrong, then it would have been like, have you ever played Pokemon in your life before? You, you wouldn't even have to play Pokemon to know what Pikachu is. So, I mean, I don't know. Anyway. Yep, so we're going to burn a couple of these. It's as if that battle never even happened. And uh, let's move on to the next one. What do we got? Ooh, I know what that is too. That would be a Fletchling. Let me, let me go, let me go, let me go. Kinda digging this beat though, this is nice. This is nice. All right, let's fight. Yeah, I, I knew you'd make me fight you. So then if you get one wrong, like I would assume you'd have to fight like more. It would just kick you out and be like, okay, go to the one of the others. That sucks. That sucks. That's gonna be an Intimidate too, so that, Oh, no, it's not the random random abilities. I made the randomizer. I randomized the abilities. I just I'm so used to seeing Landorus and VGC. So I just immediately think, oh, I'm going to get intimidated. Obviously, it didn't happen. Um, 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 let's just stay in the next scissor, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I should have fire punched. Yeah, but, you know, see a wing. This is going to be not very effective, I bet. It's neutral. Okay. But let, let's see if it's steel, though. Let's see if it's steel type. That's... Ah! No burn, no burn, no burn, no burn. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, go away. Oh, if I got crit burned, if I got crit burned to lose Blobbert, I would have been very upset. I would have been so unfathomably angry at that. Oh. Oh, Lord. Lord in Pokemon heaven. <laughs> that was nuts. Is there like a healing pod in here, please? Like, can I can I give my poor my poor Blobbert some ice cream or something? Like, that was that was traumatic. Okay, that that was a little 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 scary. All right, move me up. I must I must potion right now. I cannot believe I did die. That was. Probably the closest thing we've come to dying without actually dying. Okay. Onward and upward. What's next? Throw me some curveballs. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. That is, uh, that is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, pan poor, right? That doesn't look like pan sage. I know it's not sima sage for sure. 
Pan sage pants. Yeah, I, see, I knew it was going to make me pick. I knew it. And I'm pretty sure it's pan pour. Like pan sage is... I can't even see it in my head, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess pan pour. I hope I'm right. Like with like the rounded edges on the top of its head, it kind of looks like a fountain, you know? So that that's that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going to stick with. And we're kind of flying through this. I'm not going to lie. Because yeah, all these, all these trainers only have one Pokemon apiece. I can't imagine we have more quizzes to do unless we got maybe one more. That's that's the only guess I've got. Goo hands for everybody. Everybody's receiving these hands. And that's perfectly fine. This is gonna be this is gonna be two and done. Two and out. Punch it right in its big fat gem. Right in the family jewels. I really hope I'm right about this. I, I mean, I'm comfortable being wrong about it because who cares about those monkeys anyway? Like the the pansier, pan poor line. It's like, no, but nobody likes them. They're just there, right? They're just there. Yeah. I, I gotta know what pan sage looks like though. Like I, I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna know. But I figured that was the case. I feel really bad for making fun of these, these monkeys who just look so happy to be here. And I'm just like, you know, you, you just, you don't have a place. Oh, we got one more. Come on, please. I want to get an encounter. Okay, what do we got? Let's see it. Hey, that's that's easier than the last one, I'll be honest. Ooh, we got two. Okay, Butterfree, Vivian, and Mothim. Okay. Which one is Vivian? Oh, it threw us a curveball. There's the curveball we're looking for. But I was paying attention. So, I mean, I mean, nice try, though. You're seriously going to pick number two? I love how it tries to coerce me into picking something else. But it did not work. You tried and got so far, but in the end, you were wrong. So, here comes the quill fish. I think we're going to punch this thing, too. They're just going to punch everything. Everything's getting punched today. Punch, 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 punch. There we go. It tried. It tried. That was death number two that we avoided. <laughs> that, I don't know, would a rock throw, would that still have killed me? Obviously four times effective, but it's just rocks. Like it's not like, it's not like Stonehenge or something. Like golly gee, golly gee. That's, that's what sucks about running those. You know what I should do? I have a focus sash on, hey. We have a focus sash on our uh, Hoopa that we're not using yet because it's not highly enough leveled. I should take that off and give it to uh, give it to um, Blobbert if I'm being smart, which you know what? That's what I'm going to do. There's Clement. So let's yeah, let's do that because we're we're not we're not taking these risks anymore. Item take. Uh, I don't even know what Blobbert has, right? I think it's got the Pasho Berry still. Uh, give. Let's see. That means it's over Nya. Uh, wait, where did it go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Okay, give. Oh, it still had a Charty Berry. So it's like if the rock throw hit, the Charty would have activated. So, I mean, there's still that. Um, so I guess it's just a matter of do I want to use the Charty Berry to its effectiveness? Because, I mean, it still effectively does what I need it to do, right? Because the only thing that's going to kill me, like, char if I if Stone Edge hits through a Charty and still kills me, then, you know, I'll just leave it alone. I'll leave it be. Uh, but I'm going to give that Focus Sash back to Rose, just in case I have to, like, switch in and, like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Good Guy Dilly doesn't even have anything. I don't even know what to give it. Uh, I might still have a Pasho Berry, because uh, that's a fire type. And I do have the Pasho Berry. Okay, we'll give that to uh, Good Guy Dilly. Because our water weaknesses, they are, they are apparent. Um, so I'm still I'm still healed up, but who do I who do I lead with? I could go with Vival this time. Yeah, let's go with our let's go with our Mega. Let's go with our Mega. We will throw it a Super Potion just to be extra ready, and then we will get the show on the road. Okay, Clermont, let's battle. Jojo, I need to watch that show somewhere. If anything, for the meme material that I feel like I miss out on. Oh, thank you again for coming. Pat 
That's what she said. <laughs> that show's old. So is that joke. I'm sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. Wow, just like cuts you off. I love it. This is the gym leader of Lumio City. Like I just see him like pushing her out of the way or like a cane just like pulling her off stage. Looney Tune style. You better watch out. My brother is strong. As strong as you'd expect a Lumio City gym leader to be. Got it. <sighs> Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? Get out of my room. <laughs> it's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. She's right about that, at least. Let's both do our best in battle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I fighting your Pokemon or am I fighting you, my guy? Like these intimidation tactics. I'm not about them. I'm not about them. What do we got? Okay, good start. I like that start. I am perfectly fine with that start. So we got four Pokemon, level 35, and I believe the other one is level 37. They're ace anyway, so. Let's get the Mega going and let's get the Stab Icicle Crash out. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. And we get the Outspeed, which is really nice. Easy. Too easy. GG easy. No re. Go away. Okay. Level 32. Good guy Dilly's getting up there. He's about ready to start holding his own. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact. Should I give good guy Dilly a shot? Because we got a Persian coming. I could have given it a shot against the Pharisee. But I feel like. I feel like things have been going too good, and I kind of I kind of want to keep pushing my luck. I kind of want to just keep inching it a little closer. See how close to the edge I can stand before the volcano just blows up in my face. Let's see. Let's get let's get good guy Dilly out here. Oh, and this is the ace too. Okay, so so it's even it's even worse. Now, I'm protected against one water attack, and fire is also weak to ground and rock. Will I be seeing any of those two types? I guess we'll have to find out and see, but I feel like lowering its speed is a good play too. Even though it's not stab, I feel like it's a good idea. But I think it might outspeed it anyway, right? Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't even know Storm Ah, Flame Wheel. Screw it. And we outspeed, let's go! But that means its stats are in its other gooey. Well, that's, that's just, that's silly. That's... There's that Stone Edge that we were talking about. Good guy Dilly ate that like a champion, by the way. Like five levels up, this Persian is slower than me, which means its stats were distributed elsewhere. It obviously didn't go into attack. I can tell you that much. I can also tell you that's it's probably not a rock type. That was not stab damage. That's five levels higher. That's not stab. It can't be. So it's gotta be tanky and its special attack is probably high. Um, but after seeing the Stone Edge, I obviously can't go into Blobbert. I mean, I could eat one with the Charity Bear, but there's no point in risking that. Um, so, Marks is probably the play. Ice is weak to Rock. Let's go Marks. Rock is at least neutral. And Mar Marks should be able to handle this thing without an issue, I would assume. Mold Breaker. I don't know what that's going to protect us against. But yeah, we're, we're going to eat that like a, like a bag of Cheetos. Like a bag of Cheetos. We def so we definitely know this thing is not rock type. There's no possible way. I'd be shocked. Ah, uh, that 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 could be a fairy type though, if it's doing that much damage with a D gleam. But I guess we're not gonna find out, are we? Okay, so its ace was 37. That was pretty great to see. Pretty great to see. Mega horn. Uh, I wanna look something up. I really do. I want to find out if Megahorn is affected by Tough Claws. But man, it's just, it it can miss. That's the only issue. But if it doesn't miss, I've used Glaciate like literally zero times. And I think I've used Meteor Mash the same amount of times. I kind of want to give it the extra stab move. Like if I'm feeling extra risky, I could jump into the Megahorn and if not, just stick with X Scissor. And I've got Ice Crash on, uh, Icicle Crash on Latius. So you know what? Why, let, let's just rock out with two bug moves. And then after this, I will look it up after the fact. I won't look it up during recording. I feel like that would be kind of cheeky or kind of cheating, kind of not, but I will look it up after the fact. Let's let's get through the episode first. We got a Lucario coming in. This is a third Pokemon. And um, I can't remember if we've actually faced a Lucario or not. I feel like we haven't. 
but I, I I'll be honest I can't remember but we're gonna go blobbered anyway we'll go blobbered and hope that we're not gonna get uh, get rocked to death level 35 and let's let's dish out a mega horn let's see what it does let's see if we can uh, pull it off here we go And this thing's got tail glow too. Thank goodness I outspeed it. Thank goodness I outspeed it. You greedy, you greedy so-and-so. This should kill it, right? There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I figured a Mega Horn at 120 base with a Tough Claws would have done more. So part, something in me tells me that that probably doesn't affect it. That's probably the worst move you could possibly learn, Rose. I, I might even throw you back in the box just for wanting to learn such a ridiculous move that got taken. Whoa! Things got a little scary. Um, yeah, I guess we got to go into Flora. That's 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 what we have to do. We don't joke around when things like Xerneas hit the floor. When things like Xerneas hit the floor, all the bodies hit the floor. And if you're old enough to know what song that comes from, um, I'll see you over at uh, my place for some Werther's Original and uh, some Dr. McGillicuddy's. <laughs> I don't even know if McGillicuddy's is an old uh, old thing. No, I mean Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, Never mind. You you guys don't know what that is. You're too young to know what that is. Uh, Bulldoze, right? There we go, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb's our best attack. Uh, yeah, Sludge Bomb. And this thing is going Mist Ball. That's gonna, that's gonna smart. That, that actually hurt a lot. And that, man, that... That was like the worst possible turn I could have had. That was the worst possible turn I could have had. My special attack is down. It's a steel type. That's confirmed. But, Miss Ball is psychic. I don't have a dark type. I wish I had Haunt Solo in here, because Haunt Solo is a rock dark type. It is just another water weakness. Uh, this, is, this is a little intense. Because that did over 50% to Flora. And, oh gosh, if I could just get into Blobbert and guarantee that I outspeed and then punch it, I feel like that's what I'd have to do. Yeah, I don't have anything that resists Psychic. I wouldn't need Titan for this. Just, yes, yeah, Psychic has like no resistances outside of Psychic. And then of course, Dark types neutralize it, but I have to go into Blobbert for sure or else Flora is just gonna die. Uh, so let's let's see if we can tank a hit. I don't have a lot of HP on on Blobbert, unfortunately, but And I don't know how many mist balls there are Do less than half Okay, that's less than half. I don't care about the special attack drop That means we're gonna get to go at least once and we know it's a steel type so fire punch away and we outspeed <sighs> That does like nothing man Okay, here's, what, here's what's gonna have to happen. I'm going to have to play the don't crit me game. And Clement has not used any hyper potions yet, which is kind of a shame. So we might actually get to go twice here. No, we're not, we're only gonna get to go once. In any situation. Unless we get a crit ourselves. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Fire punch time. We're gonna whittle this thing down one way or another. Now, what would be amazing is if we could get a crit on this turn. Like on this turn coming up, it would be like the greatest thing in the world. Okay, hyper potion. Blob Blobbert's gonna get us out of this one way or another. One way or another. No moves left. What? How? D does it only have? Oh, I know why. I know why. This thing is choice. <laughs> the item that Xerneas got is a choice item. It ran out of mist balls and now it can't attack. Ha ha. Come on, come on. You spent all your time on your inventions and now you can't even, now you can't even fight back. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. Use those hyper potions, baby. I don't care what you do. You're gonna be spending your entire, you know what I should do just to be a jerk? I should just go into my, I should just go into my Hoopa. Like, can I do that? Cause I'm only gonna be taking struggles from here on out. Oh my God, that'd be so funny. Check moves, what do I have? Do I have something I can hit it with? Steel type? 
No, nah, I don't have anything super effective. I, I don't want to be here forever. So, I mean, I'm just I'm just going to keep clicking buttons. Because, you know, what? I'm looking at the time. It's going to be a bit of a long episode, but I want an encounter. I want to get an encounter for you guys. I want to... I just I, I just feel like it'd be the proper way to end the episode considering considering we haven't we haven't had an encounter in quite a while so so we're gonna do that anyway Xerneas goes down with an absolute whimper I'm sorry your trainer gave you a choice item I mean I'm happy that they did I'm happy Clement did that I have no idea if it was a it very well could have been a choice specs it could have been because I mean Meganium was pretty high level so but that's that's incredible. I was like, how is this happening? My brother, you lost. I I, I gave it a nice little scarf to wear. You idiot. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, when will you learn that there's no shame in losing? I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new, thanks to strong challengers like this boy here. Now to the victor go the spoils. This voltage badge belongs to you. There it is. See, I'm, I'm gonna be so awkward when I try and do this because I gotta like scoot to the side and be like, bam, in the badge case. But I, I don't know how cameras work, so there you go. If you have a voltage badge, see it in front of you, cool by blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't need to read all this. Yeah, give me the TM. What is the TM? No, nah, it's, I mean, that'd be great if it actually randomized back into Thunderbolt anyway. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see what we got. Well, considering we're never going to be in enough double battles to make this of worth, you just keep the darn thing. I wish we could sell TMs. That'd be awesome. Oh, Bonnie, you... Mm. The future is now, thanks to science! Behold the machine that gives technical machines! I just wanted to be able to say it, okay? At least once. Poor Clement. Look, I'm not... It's not... Uh, I'm not just trying to make myself stronger. All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to the fullest of my Pokemon while doing the science that I love with my inventing. All right, let's get out of here. That was fun and all. Yeah, we're gonna, which floor would you like to go? Let's go all the way, wait, fifth floor? Is there a floor above? No, there's not, okay. I I was just wondering, now can I actually go back down using this? No, but it'll let me choose again. Okay, first floor. So this episode is running long, but we will get an encounter. Depending on, well, no, not depending on, we're going to do it. If this episode runs 40 minutes, bonus content for you guys. So we're gonna make it happen. Hollow clip. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Hello there! I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to Lysander Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it from outside the Pokemon Center, right by Prism Tower. It's the Red Cafe. Just hop in a taxi and if you can't find it, well, too bad. Then I guess we'll talk some other time. Be seeing you soon. First, first, I want to, you know, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna have to do it, aren't I? Um, hold on. Let's see. Let's let's see if we can let's see if we can bypass this. We did last time. It did let us do it last time. So let's see if we can do it again. And I actually I just read what uh, Professor Sycamore just told me, and I already forgot where I gotta go. So I'm really hoping we can do this. Wait, hold on. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? This way. This has got to be the way, right? Do you know the way? Dead meme. Dead meme. Here's 14. All right, please, please let me through. Please let me through. I want an encounter. You're not going to let me through, are you? Fine. Let's go talk to freaking Professor Sycamore. He said Lysander Cafe. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. But now I need to find where even that is. Let's see. This is a Pokemon Center. Okay, so I need I need to find one of those signs that like says says so. So I want to say it's like south, right? Hibernal. Wait, whoa, wait, 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 wait. What'd you say? Restaurant Lawal, Cafe Kazuna. But I think if we just go straight across, though, because Lysander Cafe was on the uh, the same side as. Uh, wait, what's this? Yeah, Kazuna. We already knew about that. We knew about that. So I think we go straight through here and go on the other side. That brings us to where we were before, like before we had to go around and then come back to Lumios. So let's try down here mm, Pokemon Center this is Magneta Plaza Magenta Plaza rather and down here so there wasn't a whole lot down here so that's route 13 what's this gonna tell me 
South Boulevard, Sycamore Lab, PR Video Studio. So I don't think that's the place either. I guess if I was listening to what uh, Professor Sycamore had to say to me, maybe it's like in one of these crevices here. Okay, this is Estival Avenue. No, that's, I was trying to read the sign. Come on. Why does the city have to be so big? Is this taxi? Uh, yeah, can you please tell me? Yeah, cafes. And where are we headed? Lysander Cafe, we did it, yay! Okay, let's go. Nice and easy, that way I'm not running around for freaking ever. All right, kid, this is your stop, Lysander Cafe. Let's see, total B710. Oh, you're just a 10 year old? Okay, well, yeah, here, this one's on the house, kid. Got a pack of smokes. Oh, and it actually like plops us right out in front too. That's awesome. Over here. I was just having a conversation with Lysander about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I too would like to be able to use. Actually, Lysander himself is of royal ancestry. He truly is a chosen one. True, I am a descendant of the king's younger brother. That being said, the story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. By the way, Tartar, do you know where the Holocaster is made? Yes. Ah, that's right. They're made in Lysander's lab. Lysander is a great man. He supports trainers and Pokemon research with some of the profit from the Holocaster. People can be divided into two groups, those who give and those who take. It's just as how the Kalos region's two legendary Pokemon gave life and took life. I want to be the kind of person who gives, but in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs. They're filth! They just busted out. I, I had to get the same energy. I had to do it. Long, long ago, the King of Kalos sought to take everything for his own, and he created a terrible weapon. Then the fire of destruction was unleashed. That is the legend that has been passed down. Kalos is beautiful right now. There will be no foolish actions if the number of people in Pokemon do not increase. That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. What the King of Kalos did was reprehensible, but the ultimate weapon didn't manage to wash the world clean of that era's filth. The King's Rock just randomly? Okay, cool. I mean, I can actually put that to you, so thank you. Thank you for listening. Take that as an apology for taking up your time. I will be going. I certainly hope my hair fits through the door. What a passionate person. He's just like a blazing flame. Perhaps his pride in his lineage is what makes him burn so intensely. That being said, what Lysander says is only one way of looking at things. It's not necessarily the truth. Totter. What's truly important is the time you spend together with others. Treasure these moments spent traveling the Kalos region with your Pokemon. I'm gonna do just that, and like I said, encounter time, encounter time. No, come on! Too much story. Uh, hello, how have you been? I just wanted to let you know, we're all going to meet our, good, that's where I'm going. Please come and join us. But don't talk to me, I don't have time to talk. I have been dying for this moment for the last like two episodes, I just, I just wanna do it, okay? And I'm an autumnal and I'm going to the outskirts and I believe if I go just to the right, if I remember, if I remember right, then this should be Route 14, still. Yeah, it hasn't moved. I know directions, which in real life I generally do not. I promise you. All right, let's go. No, no. Hello, Big T. Yep, there he is. I don't have to battle, do I? You arrive very quickly. I don't want to battle. I don't want to battle. I don't want to battle. Oh, hi, Big T. We were just comparing how to complete our Pokedexes are. I won, of course. <laughs> I'll leave Phil in the Pokedex up to you guys, Trevor. I don't like it when everyone does the same thing anyway. Big T, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen just like we always do. This time, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen in the Mountain Callus Pokedex. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen... Did he just cry? He just he just started sobbing once he saw my Pokedex of random Pokemon that don't belong here. I lost. How frustrating. There sure are many different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. No! No! I have to fight! I don't... I don't want to! This is gonna be the longest episode ever! 
Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the marathon. It's the marathon. I can do this though. I can do it. Megi, we're gonna make this the fastest battle of all time, I hope. You know, if I was, if I was, if I held my weight as a content creator, I would have looked ahead a little bit. But I was like, we're gonna get this encounter, I swear to G. Okay, that did nothing. That, that's not a fire type, there's no way. Okay, perfect. This is gonna be a two shot, one down. One down. What if I, what if I just solo this with Latias? What if I can pull that off? What if? Also, I realized that even though Latias' defenses are like really low, I've realized his HP is actually pretty freaking high. It's pretty up there. Okay, excellent. Blobbert, welcome to the 40 group. Good guy, Dilly, you're on your way, let's go. All right, what's next? Spiritomb, I have yet to see that, but we're gonna stay in anyways, because we are not scared. We are not terrified of you, even though you look about as terrifying as you could possibly be. We're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat that so easily. Be a ground type, be a ground type. That's still a two shot. <laughs> That's still a two shot. Ice is only resistant to one type and it's ice. But I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. Okay, excellent. Ooh, that's not excellent, so I will have to switch out. After all that... This should be a high roll? That's, a, that's, that's not a high roll. That is not, that is not a high roll. That's actually kind of unfortunate, but I can definitely eat one more of those, but I need to make sure it dies, so surf it up. Extreme speed? That's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? Just because we're in such we're in such decent rhythm with Latias, I'm just gonna hyper potion up and stay in. Might as well. All right, two down. Two down in the longest episode of all time. Vaporeon. All right, perfect. Let's keep it going. How you doing? Keep it moving. Hyper potion. Uh, right there. Okay. God, Bible really is a tank. <laughs> Just imagine if it did have like a little bit of defense from like its stat distros. I mean, I'm not complaining anymore. Uh, I'm pretty slow. I would say I'm pretty slow. So I don't think that's gonna do much. Um, if that's a possible steel type, maybe I just surf just to be safe. That's pretty, that was a crit too, my goodness. It's flying tight. Oh, come on, fine, I'll switch. Fine. Uh, so steel and flying. Do I have a Pokemon that eats both of those? Yeah. I could predict it with marks, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because, like I said, marks is slow as well. So if I get Gyro Bulb, should be fine. Should be fine. Chatter, that's what we want to see. Okay, perfect. That was a crit. Come on! Really? You can't be serious. Fine, I'll switch back. We'll, we'll play the switching game until you stop confusing me. And then we'll throw out the icicle crash. Another chatter. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my God! I know it's not a guarantee every time. Like what's, what's the deal? Why? Breakthrough, breakthrough. Come on, be super effective. For me, for me! <laughs> yes, that's what you get with your confusion shenanigans. It's like what, 30, 40, 50%? Parasect, okay. Um, blobber, blobber time. If only this thing were bug grass like it usually is, we would be one and done. That's all right, one more to go. One more to go. One more. Fire punch, go away. Man, I haven't even healed yet, that's the thing. And it's not very effective, okay. But it's burn, take that. Take that, nerd. <sighs> I so desperately wanted an encounter that I was willing to sacrifice one of my mons for it. One of my most important mons, too. <laughs> the 
This thing's water type. It's got to be a water type. And here's how we're going to know. Unbelievable. I'm so upset. I am so upset at myself. I wanted an encounter so bad that I rushed through without thinking about a possible rival battle that I didn't even heal. And Blobber was at like 60% going into that fight too. Oh my goodness, that that's, that's inexcusable. <laughs> the only way that this is gonna get made up is if I can get a fire encounter right here, not an actual fire type. I'm not even gonna read this, I don't care. Don't care, don't care. I'm so, I'm so over time right now that I don't care. No, I don't want to go to the scary house. No, no, no. I, I was already in the scary house. I was already there. I'm really hoping this is something that I can just add to the team right now. Just go on, Shauna, go, 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 go. No, I don't have time to talk about the meaning of life. Thank you. Okay, is there even grass here? Is there even grass? Or am I gonna have to like... Uh, man, now I'm a Pokemon down. Oh, okay, here we go. There's an item, we'll grab this real quick. Shell Bell, I already got one. I already got one of those. Okay, so let's just at least make sure that I have a Mon out in front that can actually eat hits. Okay, Vival's, Vival's good enough. Bible's good enough for now, but we should I should just I should be careful. Let's throw a couple of super potions on the on the members that are still alive for crying out loud. Okay. And we will we will finally get this encounter, I hope. We will finally get it. I think, yep, here we go. Okay. So this could potentially be the replacement for Blobbert. And there's a fight up there. I gotta be very careful. Alright, here we go. Something good, please. Well, <laughs> at least it can explode on me, or at least I hope it can't. At least I hope it cannot. And I gotta be able to hit this thing with something. But what do I hit it with without risking? I won't Mega Evolve, I think I'll just Horn Leech it. Because it's not Stab. This is where it's gonna be super effective, right? I, no, here's what I'm gonna do, here's what I'm gonna do. I got Quick Balls. We'll throw one of those first. And then if it doesn't work, we'll decide after that. That's what I bought it for, I should use them. But I think this thing might wind up joining the team depending on what it is. A little bit of fortune, a little bit of fortune and the lock, or and the lock, yeah, almost. And the, and the episode. We will take a quick peek and we will close out. You know, we're just gonna call this like a content special, like make up for the fact it's poison grass. That's actually not that bad. That's another poison type, but we don't have a grass type yet, so. Uh, name to call it Fortress. Yeah, we gotta call you something. We gotta call you something. Uh, it's making me think of like uh, Cocoa Pebble, no, not Cocoa Pebble cereal, Cocoa Puffs. What's the name of that bird on it? It's Sunny, right? I think his name is Sunny. We'll just call this thing Sunny. I want some Cocoa Puffs, darn it. Cocoa Puffs sound really, really good. Not Sunny, Sunny, there. Okay, off the box one. So we'll end the episode by taking a look at Sunny, making the decision if we want to add him. And we're going to make this pretty much near an hour long episode. Like I said, this is going to be considered a special and I'm going to I'm going to call it as such. And the Pokemon Center is literally right there, so that couldn't be any more convenient if we tried. Uh, but yeah, it's like a small little makeup of uh, of what uh, of me taking off the last week, you know, so we'll, ju we'll just look at it that way. That's the only way I'm going to feel better about it. Okay, so we got level 30 Sunny. It's got Cheek Pouch. That's actually pretty interesting. Like if I get some citrus berries, that would be really nice. Bullet Seed, Extra Sensory. We got Hyperspace Hole back. It just never seems to leave our party. And Sludge Wave. Like I really want to add this. I feel like I feel like it would greatly be to our benefit to have something like Sunny here. Uh, plus that's a water resist. That's huge actually. Um, so it's very much a physical attacker. So hyperspace hole doesn't even help here. Great special defense, average speed. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. So Blobbert, you you were fantastic. Like I have nothing but good things to say about you. 
you were a fantastic addition and unfortunately you're gonna have to join your brothers and sisters in the death note box uh because uh stupid serena wrote your name in her death note and that was just kind of the end of it but hey appreciate you buddy you did great uh we will carry the torch from here on out um okay so we are back to a full team. Uh, everybody's usable right now, except for Hoopa. So hopefully once we get Hoopa up there, we'll turn off the experience share. Let's heal one more time to end it off. Uh, Nurse Joy, I need you the next time you see Serena, if she offers you her Pokemon, like fake heal them. Like just pretend you did it. And then give them back to her, the big smile on your face. Uh, here's here's a thousand bucks. Just, just do me this one solid because she's a jerk. Um, all right, so. We will, I'll actually run up here, back to Route 14 to where we were. And actually, we'll just start heading on out now. So you guys hear the outro music. My computer hates everything right now, but we'll just we'll just stop right here. This is a perfect place to stop. But in the next episode, um, we will continue through Route 14 and make our way to the next destination, which I think is like LaBear City or something. I don't even know. But we're going to go through, fight a bunch more trainers, and hopefully not lose any more Mons. But I hope you guys have a fantastic Wednesday, and then we'll see you back here on Friday.